Daniel here with longrangeonly.com. Um, tonight we're going to do something a little bit different here, so stay tuned. Hey, so we're going to do something a little bit different. This is kind of uh, what this poor rifle's been through, sort of one. Uh, just a quick video, going to kind of talk about, this is the Christian Snarms Ridgeline that I reviewed uh, a few years back, <clears throat> I think about three what this rifle's been through, what it's accomplished. Um, you'll notice I have restocked it. This is still the factory ridgeline barreled action. Uh, we redid our own spot bedding when we put it in the stock. Everything else on the rifle is just as it came. Same bottom metal and everything. Um, this rifle I hunted with for two years. I uh, did the review on. I'll put a link in um, the write-up to follow back on that if you want to see the full review on the rifle because that's not really what this is going to be. This is going to be kind of a, a wrap-up. So this rifle's probably got close to a thousand rounds down it. Um, this brass you see all right here, this is just from a two-day match we did. We did the Night Force ELR Steel Challenge. Um, boy, was that a, a intense match. Average uh, shot, there's a guy that did the statistics on the uh, matchbook, average shot was 1,099 yards. Um, if you took one shot at each target, which, trust me, I took more than one shot at a lot of targets. Um, you shot 82,405 yards with just one shot at each target. So well beyond that in total yardage you're shooting over 75 engagements over two days. Literally there was three of, uh, three of us with team long range only shooting factory ridgeline rifles. Um, myself, Dad, and Jose Gardner. And we beat the crap out of these things. I mean, to the point to where I started to feel a little bit guilty. Literally warm these things up in the morning and, and they never cooled down. I mean, we had the Magneto Speed um, barrel coolers that were helping uh, between between stages, but it was go, go, go. And you started about 7.30 in the morning and got done about 7.30 at night. So to say we were shooting all day is very true. I mean, you're constantly on it. Um, and to kind of show what this rifle did is the last stage that I shot was some Sasquatch targets, um, 50 percenters. Now, I don't know how big a real Sasquatch is, and I'm not sure who came up with that sizing, but these were 50% of whatever that is. Um, they were beyond 1,000. I think, I think they started about 1,200, went to 1,400. Um, this rifle went first round hit on the first one, the second one, and a second round hit on the third one. Um, this is with factory ammo. This is Burger. 215 boxed ammo in a factory rifle. I can't can't say enough about it. I mean, this this gun is to say it's a sub MOA gun is is just an understatement. I mean, this this thing does same whole groups, and it, it just blew my mind of how repeatable it was. And I mean, I don't know that anybody's ever really beat on a carbon fiber barrel the way we did. Um, it's it's just phenomenal what this rifle did. It, it exceeded my expectations when I was getting ready for that match you know it didn't take me a real long time to decide what I was going to shoot um, I kind of had some plans of uh, a new rifle coming and you know was moving on from it and this one was in the safe and then uh, that rat match came up and it's like you know what that's what I'm going to shoot I feel comfortable shooting it it's what I hunt with um, I love that bullet and the 215 so that's what we're going to do and then and dad put one together to do the same and Jose did as well and so we did it as kind of a team um, this is the McMillan Game Warden stock. The reason I switched that was a little bit better palm swell in the uh, the grip here, and then the adjustable cheek piece. Um, I had an adjustable cheek piece I bolted onto the factory rifle stock, but uh, obviously for two days of the intensity we had, this this kind of made it a lot easier to keep my cheek weld and keep me on the rifle. Um, and like I said, kind of ran this thing and ran this thing. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, this rifle here, as it's set up, as you see, is 12 pounds. Um, that's with a Night Force ATAC R on it. So, to say this is hunting rifle is legit. I mean, this we shot the hunter the hunter class. You had to be under 16 pounds. Um, I finished uh, 40th out of 80 shooters in the hunter class. So, right dead middle of the pack for my second match shooting a factory rifle, factory ammo. I don't know if I can be much happier. Um, and I'm no pro shooter, and uh, there's plenty of times where it was the uh, the nut behind the trigger that was the issue, not the rifle. Um, 
checking my notes here. Like I said, this this rifle it's it's kind of bittersweet here with the way this. Uh, you guys will kind of see where I'm going here in a minute because um, I've really come attached to this rifle. I feel comfortable behind this rifle. And I know what it's going to do every time I touch it off. Um, it's it's just a phenomenal package, and really for the money, it's hard to compete with. You know, um, I just. Like I said, very impressed with the rifle. Um, this rifle has just literally been hammered on, and it's still holding true. Um, I would have no problem taking this thing on a once-in-a-lifetime hunt and knowing when I touch off the trigger, it's going to do what it needs to do to put the trophy on my wall. I mean, that's how great this rifle is, and that's why this is a little bit hard. So, going forward, um, it's time to put this one back. Um, and, and you know in this this uh, business we're always needing to be on the the leading edge of things and so it's it's time to try something new so like I said if uh, you've been following us on social media you might have already seen this if not um, drum roll here's its replacement this is the MPR in the new brown color in a 300 wind mag again um, I'm pretty excited about this rifle I've been waiting for on it for a while and I'm very impressed with the fit and finish of it, um, how, how they machined out for the action, things like that. Um, going away from uh, the stock, um, we'll see how it goes. I, I, I'm going to be 100% honest. I've shot chassis, I've shot stocks, and I do prefer stocks nine times out of ten. So, But what I'm going for on this is um, kind of my ultimate uh, hunting rifle. Uh, going a little bit different, going with an NXS, a little bit smaller um, optic just because trying to keep it nice and nice and tight and compact and to be honest 100 plus minutes of travel in this with a 300 wind mag didn't do everything i need to do to hunt with it um i love one thing and i've loved this since the npr came out i'll show you here that when the stock folds it actually locks the bolt so when you're packing this rifle um in the back country stick it in a backpack you don't have to worry about the bolt coming open um, getting debris down your bore and things like that. It literally kind of seals the rifle up when you have it collapsed like that. Um, I did change out the trigger, want a little bit tighter, a lighter trigger pull, so I, I put a, a Trigger Tech diamond in it. Um, this is a mag fed. Again, I'm not uh, too big a fan of magazines, but I got a round here. I do have to say they did their homework. They didn't put too small a magazine in it. Um, again, 215 burger ammo. You see how much room you got there? You got all kinds of room if you're gonna you can do hand loads. You're gonna load it out to the lands. You got plenty of room there. Uh, don't have to worry about a big jump. So they did their homework there and at least made it to where it will accept a um, a, a high BC um, bullet like the Burger 215. So um, one other thing I'd like to point out is just this is not a review of this rifle yet. I haven't even shot it yet to be honest. I still need to bed the rail and 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 uh, dial in the, the level of scope and stuff. Um, one thing I like to point out that I didn't know, and looking back, they actually do talk about it on their website, but Christensen has two different barrel contours. Um, again, didn't it, it does state something different about the barrel on the MPR, and I don't remember the exact verbiage on that, but didn't notice it until I got this rifle that that barrel looks a, a little bit fatter, and again, you're probably not going to be able to see it on the, the cameras here, but... The MPR barrel is a thicker contour than the ridgeline. So, you know, I had always kind of thought that uh, the chassis was really the only thing different in these two rifles as well. You know, they come with their own rail and a few other little things. But um, there are differences in Christensen's um, rifles as you go up. So I don't know how many different uh, of the rifles have the same barrel contour as the MPR. I will have specifics on that and do my homework on it when I do the... The review and some content on this rifle um like i said looking forward to getting it out and shooting and uh hope i you know i hope i don't regret this i I'm, i've been extremely happy with the ridgeline and i'm hoping that the uh the mpr fills that that void nicely because uh, otherwise i'm going back um but no that i've I got plenty of confidence in christensen they built a phenomenal rifle um they've never let us down so uh, a couple things i do want to do at the end here i want to do a couple shout outs um bring this rifle back here so night force optics they've supported us um 
before they even knew who we were really i mean we we had confidence in their their products well before we were ever put on the map so we appreciate to have their support these days and everything they do for us as well mcmillan stocks um the mcmillan family in the hunting industry what they do is there's nobody else like them i mean they are freaking phenomenal people and they're always out there doing the right thing um i mean once you start to learn the the different things that kelly and the family have done to help people in the industry it, it just blows your mind and then of course uh christensen arms they always uh, support us get us the products we need um for testing and things like that and and as well as helping us get uh, get the pro get things faster than because we're not as good at planning sometimes and then of course burger ammo um i can't say enough good about this ammo i mean it, i can't reload for what that ammo provides me for accuracy i mean it's just flat phenomenal we re just recently got some of the uh, six creedmoor 105 burgers excited to, to try that in the snowy mountain rifles um be looking for that coming up here and then uh for just a, a hunting round i mean you can buy this stuff off the shelf i was shooting like i said 2890 um through a 26 inch tube it's pretty foolproof you can't uh you can't go wrong with it and if you look at some of our other videos i did the uh the test leading up to this match um did the eight round shot eight, eight round group at 550 and it again it's always held true to us um been very happy with it matter of fact that rifle has almost exclusively shot this ammo um did some ammo testing in the very beginning it also shot the nosler 180 green acubons very well um another that's kind of something if you're looking for a uh, cartridge you can find on the shelf at pretty much anywhere the trophy grade 180 um, Acubon 300 Win Mag ammo. That's actually the one that uh, Christensen tests with at the factory. It shoot, it shot phenomenal in it. Um, so, like I said, this this gun has probably about a thousand rounds down it. So, um, more shooting than I, I can ever say I needed to do. But uh, we did the match. We had a good time with it. I'm very happy with how I finished in that. So, um, like I said, look forward to more info coming on the mpr pretty excited to get it rolling um like i said haven't even shot this thing yet so um look forward look for that and then uh don't forget to follow us on uh, social media facebook and instagram um people that run that uh, do a really good job and uh remember all the contents over on the forum as far as uh if you're looking for info on uh, new bullets we're testing and things like that, load data, we keep all that on the form. It's a searchable database so you can find it easily and, and answer questions as well as if you're having any troubles, jump on there, start a, start a thread. We've got a lot of good guys that are very knowledgeable and can help you work through those. Um, besides that, i um, going to head to bed. It's a little bit late here, but had to get this done. So thank you guys for um, paying attention and look forward to seeing the review on this rifle coming soon. Thanks.